Welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to show you something in Fusion 360 that's relatively simple but also extremely handy to know and it'll definitely help improve your workflow and speed up the design process. So what I wanted to show you was section analysis in Fusion 360. So if you've been using Fusion 360 for a while, I can almost guarantee that you've come to a point in a design where you want to select a feature but you're unable to because you can't physically see it to click on it. And to show you an example of this, I've created this simple object. And basically, if we wanted to 3D print this, we wouldn't be able to do it without supports because this edge here on the inside of the circle cannot be printed on top of nothing, right? So usually what you do is you have a fillet or some kind of chamfer to aid in the 3D printing process. But obviously with this, we can't physically no matter how much we rotate the model, we can't select that edge underneath there to add a fillet. And that can be tricky sometimes in a design, especially if you have a really complex model. So what you can do to get around this and really help with your design is just go up to inspect here, make sure in the solid workspace tab, come up to inspect and come down to section analysis, which is down the bottom here. And what it'll ask you to do is select a plane that you want to use to do the analysis. Select any one that you want to use. I'm going to choose uh, this plane here. And you'll see what that'll do is it'll slice it for you. If you want to change uh, the angle that you're slicing, for example, you can just rotate it around or you can move it backwards and forwards. I tend to just let it be at the origin because uh, that's, that's what I want to do it at. So you can leave that at zero. And if you just hit OK, you can see now that if we want to add a fillet to this edge that I talked about underneath that we couldn't see. You can just go to the fillet tool, click on that, and you can drag that out and add a fillet. And that would really help in the 3D printing process. So if we just hit okay, you can see now if we go back and view this, you can see we've got a nice sort of sliced view of our model. So you can see exactly uh, what the profile of it looks like. And this is extremely handy. Obviously, you won't want this on all the time. So what you can do, if you notice over in your component tree, there'll be a folder that says analysis. If you click the drop down in there, you'll see we'll have the analysis in there. If you just hit the hide icon, you can see that gets rid of it. So anytime you want to apply that analysis for that particular one you set, you can just click on this and you'll see it. You can add as many as you want. So you could also do another one and have it be perpendicular. So if we just insert another one here, hit OK. So you can see now in the analysis folder, we've got two different section analysis and you can switch between them. You can't have them both on at once, but you can toggle between which one you want to use. And obviously if you want to get rid of them, you just turn them both off. Now that's a simple example of how that's useful. But if I switch to another design that I've been working on. So this is a project that I'm currently doing and I'll update you on it soon. It's pretty interesting and I think a lot of you will find it useful as well. Uh, I'm designing something and they need to fit together. And the way this fits together is with sort of a drop in and a twist method. So I've had to create a fitting and it's important to know what the tolerance is going to be or how it's going to look, right? Because 3D printing isn't a perfect tolerance. So you have to leave a bit of a gap so that things kind of move together smoothly. So again, similar to the previous example, we got that analysis folder. And if I turn this off, you can see the design here for what I'm creating. It's basically like a uh, vertical farming tower. As I said, I'll talk about it in another video. It's pretty exciting. I just wanted to demonstrate that if we turn that analysis on, you can zoom in and you can see parts that you wouldn't be able to see otherwise, which is really useful. And of course, if we want to change it, you can just go to the section, right click it, edit, and you can rotate this around or you can move it just like I showed you before. So you can see as we rotate it, you can see different sections of the design and depending on what you want to look at, you can alter this. I'm going to leave it as it was because as I said, I was using it to check out the tolerance for these parts that fit together. And that's basically it for this one. As I said, it's pretty simple, but a lot of people don't know about this feature and it is extremely useful when designing, especially when you find yourself in a situation like this where you can't see an edge or a face and you need to select it. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.